Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So I'm back with another Dollar Tree haul. Y'all are going to see more of these on my channel as we get closer to Christmas. There's a few things that I like to pick up every year from the Dollar Tree to add into stocking stuffers and giveaways, that kind of thing. So I do have a large haul here. So y'all sit back and enjoy. Make sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, comment down below. Let me know that you would like to continue seeing Dollar Tree hauls. So let's go ahead and jump right into the it. The first thing I picked up is some wrapping paper. I know it's a little early, but then again, is it really? So they had it out. Of course, I looked through it to see if there was anything new. Um, Not too many new things at this one particular store. I only went to one. It's my favorite store. Um, They didn't have a lot of new wrapping paper, but this one stood out to me. So it is the Disney um hallmark expressions wrapping paper it's only 20 square feet so you don't get a whole lot in there honestly compared to other wrapping paper but i thought it was so cute it seems to have little disney characters on there i don't know if these are the baby versions of the characters or what but i can't quite place who some of them are my memory is like what is going on so y'all comment down below let me know where these little characters are from if y'all can if they stand out to y'all trying to turn them slow so you can see them but this is so cute i thought this would be great for like pet gifts maybe i don't know if you wrap your pets gifts i don't have any pets myself um they would really be great for kids gifts i don't have any children either but uh, i thought we can wrap our gifts with them i thought they looked really cute mixed in with our other wrapping paper i just stood out to me and i really wanted to grab it Speaking of Christmas, I did go ahead and pick up another Christmas ornament. Um, This one looked really pretty. I thought it would go great with our decorations and our Christmas theme. I'm still looking for that one particular ornament. It's a door, like a Christmas door. I think it might have like a little wreath on the door. I cannot remember whose haul I saw it on, so I can't even remember to go back to it. It was so long ago. It was probably about a month or so ago now. And um, I really want that Christmas ornament, but I didn't find it, so I got this one. And if you are getting the ornaments that have glitter all over them, be careful and make sure you get ones that still have most of the glitter on there because it is going to come off. You can spray them with hairspray to, um, to make sure the glitter doesn't fall off everywhere, but make sure you're looking at them really good before you pick them up. Speaking of glitter, I did pick up some of these glitter string lights. You get six counts of the lights in there, so it comes with six bulbs. I got two packages. They do take two AA batteries, and they also come with a little battery pack to put the batteries in. You need a small screwdriver because it comes with a tiny screw. So I always keep that in mind when you pick up any kind of string lights, decor lights from the Dollar Tree. That's how they usually work. Um, they've had these for a long time, but I passed them by. I decided I wanted to pick them up and do something here in my craft room with them. Now we're going to get into a few food items. Uh, we picked up some of these vanilla wafers. I think Maddie meant to get the sugar-free though. We haven't purchased these in a while. These, these used to be a staple on my channel, um, but we haven't purchased them in a long time. My favorite is the strawberry, but they do have them in sugar-free vanilla and they also have regular vanilla. And I also picked up some of these Keebler uh, gram snacks or honey gram snacks and they're themed with Disney Frozen 2. So these are great because they're individually packaged. You get four of them for a dollar. Um, I think that's a pretty decent deal, especially right now. You're probably finding yourself purchasing more snacks since your little ones are doing distance learning. So I did grab those. I also picked up some of these Good Health Organic Snacks. So these are the uh, baked cheese puffs and they're in the flavor of mac and cheese. And then I got some of these baked cheese fries and these are the hot and spicy. They have one other flavor. It's the uh, cheese fries and just the cheddar flavor. They didn't have it at the store that I'm at. I see that on the back of the packaging. So it's three uh, total in the whole set. I also got some more candy. So we picked up some more of the Reese's miniature peanut butter cups. We also grabbed some of the Kit Kat, uh, the white Kit Kat miniatures. Those are really good. And we picked up some of these Airheads mini bites, mini bars, not bites. You get 12 of the mini bars in there. Just stuff to get our candy dish stocked up. Uh, we also grabbed some of these Palmer's pumpkin spice cups. So it's a chocolate cup filled with a pumpkin spice center. So it's almost like a peanut butter cup, but with pumpkin spice. Um, I just now started getting into the pumpkin spice coffee drinks. I don't think I want to take it so far to eat these, but I know that Maddie likes these. So I got these for her. She'll probably just eat those herself. The other stuff will go in the candy dish. And then I also got some of these Nerds 
uh, candies. So you, these are the grape and strawberry boxes of the nerds. How many boxes do you get in here? Six of the boxes in there. So I got that. Picked up a few fall items. So I needed uh, these maple leaves to complete my fall basket. And I got this uh, packet in particular because it has like these golden leaves on top. So you get 50 of them in there. You can do a lot with these. 50 for a dollar. A lot of crafts. Um, these are by the Crafter Square brand. So I got those. I also picked up some napkins for the holidays coming up. So I got a pack of napkins and they just say thankful and they have some pumpkins on there. These are pretty good thick napkins. Just going to be us two for um, Thanksgiving. It always is just us two for Thanksgiving and for Christmas we'll link up with other family. But I uh, also picked up a tablecloth. I like this one in particular because it's got like this greenish uh, color going on on it. And it says on the bottom of it, harvest, thankful, pumpkin, hay rides, fall leaves, blessed, that kind of thing. So I grabbed that. I got a few food items. We picked up some of the, uh, what is it, Tony Saturé. I don't know if I'm ever pronouncing that right, but it's the Creole seasoning. Um, this has like the older packaging on it, but these are good until like 2022. But they have the older packaging on it versus the ones that you see in the regular grocery stores. They're like three or four dollars probably. You can go to the Dollar Tree. It tastes exactly the same, but I think maybe they messed up on the packaging or that's not the packaging they want to use. I don't know. They're good until August of 2022 though. So uh, we usually go to the Dollar Tree and stock up on ours if we can. Um, we had a period where we weren't going to the Dollar Tree, but now that we've started back, we uh, went ahead and got two of these. So honestly, these should last us for the next couple of months. We don't use it like crazy because it does have a lot of sodium in it, but it does make food taste really good. One of the candle lighters. So I always, again, this is on like my essentials type of list. Y'all know towards the end of my hauls, I usually show y'all things that I'm going to start picking up every Dollar Tree trip. This is on that list of essential things that you, I think everyone should pick up. It's great to have these in like your stockpile or uh, your pantry, whatever you want to call it. Put some stuff away to the side just in case of anything. Anything could happen as we know it this year. So put stuff like that to the side. So I uh, pick up one of these every time that I go now. And then we also got the set of bandanas. So you get two bandanas in there. The thing to complete my fall basket, I was looking for something else. I can't think of the name of it right now. It's the form of the burlap ribbon, but it doesn't have uh, this lace on it. I was looking for that. They didn't have any of that available. I didn't want to go to multiple Dollar Trees. So I settled for this. I'm going to try and look through my craft stash and see if I can find what I'm looking for. I can't think of the exact name of it right now. But I did pick up this one as a backup. You get nine feet of this burlap ribbon. And like I said, it has the lace on it. Um, I was going to see if I could take the lace off. But it looks like it's sewn into the ribbon itself. So that won't work. But I'll figure out something. Y'all see it in that video. Uh, we also picked up some of these metallic pencils. I think Maddie may have put these in there. I think she's going to use this for something maybe for work. You get six of them in there. I think it has some pretty colors in there though. And this is in the Crafter Square aisle. And then she also picked up some of these night vision glasses. She already has a pair of these that she got from the Dollar Tree. It says that you, it gives clear vision and for nighttime driving. So she does work third shift. And she says that these brighten up things a lot for her. So we grabbed another pair of those. I also have a few new beauty finds that I want to share. Right now is the perfect time to stock up on your stocking stuffers for Christmas or even small gifts that you want to give to family members if you're doing a secret Santa, that kind of thing. Always be on the lookout for name brand stuff in the Dollar Tree. Um, I know some of our Dollar Trees are, you know, they don't really get the name brand stuff, but sometimes it's okay to maybe venture a little bit out of your neighborhood to see what you can find. This particular Dollar Tree, it's my favorite store. Um, it's not close to where I live. It may be 20 or 30 minutes away from where I live. Sometimes for me, it's worth the drive out there, especially if I know that I just want to go to one store, make it a good store for a good haul for y'all. So I think I did that with this one. So um, they had some of these... Um, what are these? Silicone makeup blenders for liquid makeup. So this one is by the Swiss Burst brand, which we know is a brand name. You can get it at Walmart, like their cotton rounds, Q-tips, uh, cotton balls, that kind of thing. And they have these silicone makeup blenders. And they also have the 
makeup blenders by the company Gem, G-E-M. These are the teardrop gel sponges. So these are great for your friends or family members that love doing makeup, especially if they're into these. It's great to find them for a dollar. They're amazing find for this haul is the Flower Lipstick. Flower is a name brand of makeup. I believe it's Drew Barrymore's brand. I don't know how relevant it is anymore. I believe I went into Walmart. What was it? Last week I went and I didn't see any of the flower stuff at the particular Walmart I went to. So I don't know if our brand is phasing out if people are not into it anymore. Nonetheless, it has some of the stuff at the Dollar Tree. They only have one shade of this lipstick. It is the Kiss Stick Luxury Lip Color. It's in the LS7 So Gladolia? Gladia? I don't know how to pronounce that. G-L-A-D-I-O-L-A. And what I love in particular is that they are individually wrapped. So you know for sure that no one has opened this up. Look how this is packaged. It is sealed all the way through. You know, if yours does not have that seal, that plastic packaging, it's kind of set up to where it's going to hang on some kind of a uh, display. If it doesn't have that, then it's been tampered with. So I love that, especially right now. So I'm not going to open these uh, because I think one of them may be a gift and one of them is Maddie's for sure. I'm not sure how this color would even look on me, but that's kind of what it looks like right there. Y'all can get a good look at that. So it's almost similar to what I have on. It's more pinky though. And mine has more of a tannish color to it. And the last couple of things for my beauty items, I found some more of the Soft Lips Chapstick. And this one is in the Scent Peach Passion, the scent, flavor, whatever you want to call it, Peach Passion. So again, great stocking stuffer, as well as the False Eyelash Extension Applicator. So these help you put on false eyelashes. Y'all know I just picked up some eyelashes from Walmart, what, last week? Haven't put those on yet. I think I want to try and do them in a video. I don't know. I'm kind of scared, but um, I found some of these devices to help put them on. So they had two colors, pink and black. So I got both of those because if I like it, of course, I want to have more options with the colors. I don't know. I'm weird like that. So I went through the book section and I found an interesting book. I didn't think I would see it there. Um, it's the kind of read where you read it and maybe pass it along to somebody else. I like reading about different people's lives, so I picked it up. It's called The Senator Next Door, A Memoir from the Heartland, and it's by Amy Klobuchar. Um, she was running to be president. She's no longer in the running but I thought this might be an interesting read. Like I said, I'm probably going to end up passing it along after I read it. But it is was sold in the USA for $30, Canada for $34.50. This is a hardback cover of the book. And it's got some nice pictures on the back. Family pictures. I always love seeing family pictures. And from what I can see, the book was published, I think, in 2015 is what I saw. Let me just double check. Yeah, first edition, 2015, so quite a few years before she was in the running to be president. So I grabbed this. I did come across some children's books. They are thin Disney books, but I love them because they remind me of my childhood especially, and they have like the original graphics from the Disney films in them. So I got The Lion King, you see Simba and Nala on there. And then we open it up. How great those pictures are. Original pictures. Now, um, you see the words there. You may have to read it to your little ones depending on their age. Um, because it does have some big words in there. Mufasa may be hard for some kids to pronounce. Determined words like that. So, you know, you be the judge. You know your children, obviously, more than I do. Um, and then they also had 101 Dalmatians. Oh, look at the back. That's so cute. So I'll show you a couple of the pictures in there because I think it's just awesome how they have like the original, you know, art in there. It doesn't look all wonky and stuff. It really looks like how the movies look. So I picked up those two. Also had a Milan coloring book. It's Milan Colortivity. So I'm guessing it's a coloring book and an activity book as well. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's so pretty. Now these are the graphics from the new Milan movie. Um, it's on Disney Plus right now, but I think you have to pay like $30 for it. Um, I'm going to wait until the free access since I already have Disney Plus. I think you can watch it just regular through the app on December the 4th, if I'm not mistaken. Comment down below and correct me if I'm wrong. But I got this because I thought that would be great. Again, Mulan is from my childhood. And these pictures in here are amazing. I honestly hadn't flipped through it. I just saw Mulan and I picked it up. But these pictures are just awesome. Look at that. That's great to color. Honestly, it really could be an adult coloring book. 
because of how intricate and small some of the things are. Like, look at that. That could be an adult coloring book for sure. So I grabbed that. Um, my favorite part of this haul, I couldn't even believe it when I saw it. I about screamed in the store and I had to get two of them. Lilo and Stitch coloring books. Y'all know Lilo and Stitch is one of my favorite Disney movies. Um, I love Stitch. He's one of my favorite characters. It came out in 2002. So when that came out, I would have been... How old was I in 2002? Is that sad that I don't even know? Was I 11 in 2002? Yeah, I would have been 11 in 2002. I had to think about that. So I was 11 when this came out. So I was still watching Disney movies and stuff. And I really wanted to pick this up. This is a jumbo coloring activity book. So this one, honestly, uh, would be a lot better for the little ones because the pictures are bigger to color. And then they have some activities in there. It says use the grid to draw stitch. So they can try and draw stitch right there and color and all that good stuff. Circle the correct answer. Who am I? Obviously, that stitch. So that's something, you know, more on little kids level. And it says, here for the music. I guess maybe that's the theme for this particular book. I thought that was awesome. They didn't have any others, though. I wish I would have saw some more Disney ones. But they just didn't have it in the store I was in. They probably have different ones in y'all stores. I saw some new kitchen stuff. Again, new to me. Um, they don't have it in my local stores, but at this one, they had this stuff. And I grabbed this kitchen stuff from my mom. Her favorite color is blue. And I want to send her some of this stuff for her birthday. I thought she would really like it. Um, this uh, set of pot holders, you get two for a dollar. And it says, bless this kitchen. So I thought that was really nice. And it's got gray on the background. So this actually matches her kitchen very well. And then I got the oven mitt to match. I know she'll love what it says as well. And I got the decorative towel. This is Bless This Kitchen. And I also got the dish cloths that say Bless This Kitchen as well. You can't really see that it says that, but it does say that you get two of those for a dollar. Of course, y'all know I had to get her the matching placemats. These are actually nice. I feel like they've upgraded their placemats a lot. So I got her four of these Bless This Kitchen placemats. I think I got four. I hope so. Yeah, I did. And these are by the Home Collection brand. Getting towards the end of this haul. And in this portion, I'm going to be showing y'all the essential items that I'm going to try and pick up every trip if I can. Just to make sure that we always have these items stocked up in case anything else happens. If another lockdown happens, I want to make sure that we have the stuff that we need at home. Because, you know, when everything locked down here in March, it happened very fast in North Carolina and stuff sold out quickly and we started running out of stuff that we would never run out of so i don't want that to happen again so i picked up some of the scrub buddies nail guard sponges these are my favorite you get six of them in there i grabbed some of the hefty uh slider bags i got the quart size and the gallon size i love those I grabbed some cleaning products now i noticed that these were new in the store i went to these are the comet antibacterial cleaners um, it says that these kill 99.9% .9 of bacteria and viruses. They didn't have a limit on this in the store I went to, but they had a lot of them and they were new in that store. So we ended up grabbing three of them. Um, so we ended up grabbing two of these and it says that it cuts through grease and grime. You can use it in your kitchen, in your bathroom. Honestly, you can use stuff like this anywhere. I consider this a multi-purpose uh, cleaner myself. You get 16 fluid ounces of it. I wish they would have had like the refill type of bottles where you get more fluid ounces, but it doesn't have the spray thing attached to it. Um, kind of how like uh, Spick and Span has it in the Dollar Tree. They just had the spray bottles. So we got a couple of these. Again, these are the Comet brand, Comet Classic. We also got some of the Comet bleach cleaner. So this is just, you know, the powdery bleach solution. You know, we use to clean our bathrooms and stuff like that. We also had some of the Lysol concentrator cleaner available. So we know, again, Lysol brand, it kills 99.9% .9 of viruses and bacteria. Um, this cleaner is concentrated. It says that it can make over five gallons. So you have to dilute it with water and make your cleaner, get you some of those spray bottles. They have them in the Dollar Tree. They also sell them in Walmart, I believe, for a dollar or less than a dollar. So get some water, mix it in there, and you have a lot of cleaner. This is a sparkling lemon. So we grabbed a couple of those, I think maybe two. And then I just saw this and grabbed it because it's new. We really didn't need any dish detergent, but again, it's something nice to have. Um, the Palm Isle of Lime, Lavender and Lime, Radiant and Fresh Clean Dish um, Detergent. Let me smell it and see what it smells like. 
it actually has a really nice scent to it. It smells like, honestly, some kind of alcoholic drink, like a fruity alcoholic drink. But it smells really good, and I'm sure it works just fine. I've never had any issues out of the Palm Olive brand. I picked up some of the Lime Away cleaner. It's a bathroom cleaner uh, for lime, calcium, and rust. It's just one of those gel toilet bowl cleaners. And we grabbed, again, a package of the Scott Tissue. Great to pick that up, a four count of it. And then we grabbed one of the paper towel rolls to put in our stash as well. That's everything that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. Thank y'all so much for watching again. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Comment down below and let me know what are some essential items that you like to pick up at the Dollar Tree. I would love to know. Maybe it's something that I never thought of picking up. So thank y'all so much for watching. I'll talk to you again in my next video. Bye.